with a price tag of up to $200 million each. The F-35 Lightning II is considered the most expensive fighter jet ever manufactured by the United States. Despite being viewed as a symbol of military might and the flash raining over the American skies, many experts, including those from the US, caused doubt on its actual performance. Some argue that the steep cost of the F-35 is more a result of excellent marketing strategy than combat effectiveness. Eagle Fighter Jet aims to unravel these mysteries, posing crucial questions about the real-world capabilities of the F-35 Lightning II, the priciest and most advanced fighter jet in the US. How bad can the F-35 Lightning II be? Don't take your eyes off the screen because Eagle Fighter Jet will decode all these questions right here. In January 2021, the testing agency at the Pentagon revealed a shocking piece of information. The fifth generation stealth fighter jet Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II of the United States had nearly 900 defects that could significantly undermine its combat readiness. The most expensive weapon in the US arsenal was found to have many vulnerabilities that seemed unmanageable. Robert Bella, the director of the evaluation and testing program, stated that many of these defects were identified during the development phase, with a peak of 941 issues in April 2018. According to analysts, the current number of defects for this fighter jet has likely decreased to 871. However, this information should be taken with caution. Before delving into the vulnerabilities of the Lightning F-35, let's not forget that your precious likes and channel subscriptions are the greatest gifts to us. And now, let's get started. The first undeniable flaw to mention is the software glitch. While the exact number of shortcomings on the F-35 remains unknown, encountering a software glitch like this makes it challenging for any nation to accept their fighter aircraft in such a state. In recent years, this type of fighter jet has experienced seven incidents. The peak occurred in September 2019, when an F-35A purchased by the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force from the United States crashed into the sea during a night training flight, resulting in the loss of the pilot's life. The Japanese military attributed the accident to spatial disorientation a situation where the pilot cannot accurately perceive the aircraft's position, altitude, or movement. This incident highlights that the camera system used to replace the need for pilots to look behind still has blind spots, preventing them from capturing the complete picture. If so, it becomes challenging for the aircraft to accurately drop bombs on targets, engage in air combat, or support ground troops. The simple reason behind this is that the necessary software to enable its optimal operation is not yet perfected. In 2020, the F-35 began upgrading its software to Block 4. During the testing of the software, US officials identified several drawbacks that affected critical systems, such as target selection, weapon usage, communication, navigation, and cybersecurity. Despite these issues, efforts are underway to eliminate these flaws through modernization, expanding the fighter jet's operational capabilities. The F-35 software is developed and updated in incremental blocks, with issues arising even in Block 2B and Block 3I. Statistics show that Block 2B encounters issues every 8 hours, while Block 3I experiences problems every 15 hours. By 2016, at Hill Air Force Base in Utah, only one out of six F-35s could take off during an alert, with the remaining five experiencing software malfunctions and non-functional equipment. When US officials reported on the combat readiness of their massive F-35 fleet, they concealed this information. In reality, they may not even know how many fighter jets would be able to take off when needed, as the cycle of identifying, solving, and discovering new issues seems endless. Both the project's architects and even the pilots directly flying the US Lightning have recognized its shortcomings. Manufacturers made lofty promises and it appears that the F-35 may not live up to expectations. They believe that the next fatal weakness that should never have appeared on the F-35 stealth fighter is poor stealth. Stealth aircraft commonly undergo extensive structural and aerodynamic changes 
to fulfill stealth requirements. The crucial point here is that the F-35's features are deemed susceptible to be neutralized by very high frequency radar, known as VHF. The secret spread worldwide, leaving the US red-faced while the adversaries quickly chuckled. Achieving stealth against VHF frequency requires removing the aircraft's tail, but the practicality of such a modification remains uncertain. What the F-35 currently possesses is the electronic attack capability, also known as EA. In the eyes of military experts, it incorporates a radar jamming system named BAE Systems ALE-70. In 2019, whenever the F-35 exceeds the sound barrier, flying at Mach 1, 0.2 or faster, its stealth coating tends to peel off, compromising its stealth capability. This occurs due to prolonged use of the aircraft's afterburner, causing the stealth coating at the tail to flake. Consequently, the US Air Force restricts pilots from flying beyond the speed of sound during training flights, as each mission requires the F-35 to undergo costly and time-consuming recoating. In addition to the issue with the US fighter jet accessories like the pilot's helmet, especially the Helmet Mounted Display System HMDS, are deemed extremely poor. Lockheed Martin, the defense contractor, received a $352.6 million contract to develop the third generation HMDS for F-35 pilots. Test pilots reported disorientation while controlling the fighter, leading to handmade landings. The delay in signal transmission to the helmet, where the F-35's computer must determine where the pilot is looking to relay commands to this corresponding camera, is a significant factor. Furthermore, unlike fixed display systems, in front of pilots, this helmet allows free head movement, causing displayed information to jitter during flight. Pilots experiencing health issues while flying the F-35 may even encounter dizziness and nausea. The technical flaws in the control helmet force pilots to fly in a state of confusion. Instead of aiding visibility, the modern, nearly $1 million helmet inundates pilots with excessive images from radar and cameras. The limited capacity to display information leads to information overload, especially during night flights, causing critical data on speed, altitude, landing and takeoff angles, fuel levels, weapon systems and surrounding scenery to become indistinguishable. Flying the fighter jet becomes an unsettling experience for pilots, as they are uncertain about their fate before safely touching down. Pilots not to criticize the helmet's quality, but also express disappointment in the F-35's agility, as it fell short against the US-made F-16, designed in 1974. In a 2015 training exercise near Edwards Air Force Base in California, the F-35 engaged in a close quarters combat test at altitudes between 3,000 and 9,000 meters, facing off against an F-16 in terms of speed, firepower, and maneuverability. Notably, the F-35 participated without external fuel tanks, operating in its lightest and most flexible state, while the F-16 carried two auxiliary fuel tanks. Entering aerial combat, two aircraft dance in close proximity, evading fire and deploying every equipped weapon to shoot down the adversary. After assessment, pilots note the F-35's cumbersome nature and aerodynamic issues, hindering its agility in the air. Despite the utmost efforts, the F-35 struggles to target or evade shots from the F-16. Pilots also criticize the oversized half-million dollar helmet, which proved impractical in the cramped cockpit of the F-35 limiting the pilot's ability to look behind or upward. The F-35 repeatedly falls victim to attacks from the F-16. The negative reputation spreads to the extent that the US Department of Defense clarifies that the F-35 used in training lacks the capabilities of the real version and is merely a draft. The final critique intensifying scrutiny on the US masterpiece is its exorbitant cost. The price of the F-35 has surged by 93% since the initial 2001 plan, now standing as a staggering 16% error prone in terms of necessitated fixes and redoing work. Initially estimated at around $70 million per unit, the F-35 was intended to be more affordable than the $100 million plus F-15. However, Due to delays and unforeseen issues, the export cost of the F-35 is now estimated between $130 million to $200 million, depending on the variant, as of 2020. Winslow Wheeler, overseeing the military reform program at the Star Strat Center, 
deems the F-35 as a failure on multiple fronts, falling short of the miraculous expectations. According to Pierre Spray, the engineer behind the design of the F-16 Fighting Falcon, attempting to incorporate too many functions into the F-35 renders it ineffective as anything. The major shortcomings in the production process of the US 5th generation fighter jet have turned it into a costly national defense asset with underwhelming performance. The F-35 is not resistant to lightning strikes and has been prohibited from operating in areas prone to thunderstorms, requiring a minimum distance of 25 miles. Additionally, the aircraft cannot take off or experience sudden engine shutdowns at temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius, complicating maintenance and fueling in hot climates, necessitating the construction of shaded parking lots for the installation of cooling systems for fuel transport vehicles. Countries purchasing the F-35 such as Turkey, Japan, Australia and Israel may be surprised to find the aircraft unable to operate in high temperature conditions during the summer. Despite various challenges, the US military dominance could help address these issues, especially as many nations continue to show interest in acquiring the F-35. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please like and subscribe to the Eagle Fighter Jet channel to continue to update more interesting information and have more topics to share with friends. And now, goodbye, and I wish you a healthy and peaceful day.